Strength is everything. If you're not strong, you're weak and weakness is useless. Women don't want useless men. The female, not the male, determines all the conditions of the animal family. Where the female can derive no benefit from association with the male, no such association takes place. This is the iron rule. The foundation of any relationship with a woman. It doesn't change no matter how much you try to run from it. When we say, all women are like that, we mean all. Don't try to cope by looking for some trad wife in bumfuck sewage land or lying to yourself. Grow the fuck up. Get stronger. Kill the weakness within yourself. I don't know where this myth of women being retarded stemmed from. Women are sharks. They have to be to survive because they're physically and spiritually weak by nature. They can sniff your weaknesses and insecurities like a bloodhound. If you have one too many weaknesses you put yourself in the bitch category. I'm not going to tolerate that. Neither should you. You need two things to be strong in order to be completely strong. Your body and your mind. Body. Strong isn't relative. Strong is strong. If you don't look strong, you aren't strong. If you look in the mirror and question yourself you need to keep growing. Take a good look at your physical weaknesses and find a way to fix them. Be honest with yourself and realize this is going to be a very long process. Too many people quit once they don't become Louis Simmons or Larry Wheels in a day. If you want to get stronger, and I know you do, here's what I do. Eat. Stop eating like an underwear model and get jacked. Eat lots of animal protein, a fair amount of clean carbs, and a good amount of fat. Being big, or athletic at the least is essential. Nobody looked at a skinny dude and said, he can protect me, they most likely thought, he can run. He has to run in order to survive. Only cowards run. If you're fat as fuck clearly you don't need this step. Use common sense. Learn how to fight and kill. Become dangerous. We live in polarizing times and you need to know how to defend yourself and whoever is in your tribe. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Take up a martial art. Learn how to use a gun, get it done. Men aren't meant to be tame little cage rats, we're meant to be fighters and warriors when necessary. Lift to be intimidating. Learn how to power build. Get strong and make sure you look strong. I've put my body through the ringer since I started lifting and I've come to find out that this type of training is better for balance and longevity. Obviously, push yourself but don't kill yourself. You shouldn't leave the gym downing painkillers because you took yourself to Ego City but you shouldn't leave the gym without being tired either. High reps and medium weight will build both strength and muscle at a consistent rate, you'll be big and strong. Mind. Your body may wither but your mind won't. Make your mind as strong as steel and you'll always be strong. It doesn't matter what happens to you, you'll be fine as long as your mind is strong. Read. If you can get it at a college library or Barnes and Noble it's probably not worth reading. Don't read trash that makes you a slave to the very system that made you weak. Everything you're told not to read by the masses, read. Everything you're told to read by about 99% of people, throw it away. Only listen to people in your tribe, people you take advice from, and people who have what you want. Practice a concentration practice. This tip is vague for a reason. I don't know who you are or what your interests are. Take up a hobby that forces you to concentrate on something for an extended period of time. Most people have the attention span of a goldfish and you need to overcome that if you want to be mentally dangerous. Take up meditation, a strategy game, magic practices, prayer, anything. Something that resonates with you that forces you to focus your entire mind on something. All the strength in the world doesn't matter if you can't focus. Learn how to read people. Most people have the emotional and social IQ of a cucumber. You don't know how to read body language, tonality, and pick up the little things in women. Do you know what mirroring is? Do you know what it means? Do you know about proxemics? What they mean? Do you know when she's faking all of this to lead you along? These are the things you need to know if you want to be successful with not just women, but people in general. Study it, internalize it, throw it away. It'll be one with your instinct. When studying body language and social cues, don't be an English cigarette and overthink every single interaction. You're going to paralyze yourself. Seriously. Read it, internalize it, throw it away. Conclusion. People's weak points are rarely muscles. It is almost always their head, their heart, or their lack of discipline. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be getting strong for women, you should be getting strong for yourself. Women are, and should always be, a side effect of your own thirst for growth. Women come and go but strength is forever. Even when you're old and withered your mind will be made of steel and your soul will be made of gold. I want you to act.
I want you out there living your life as a man maintaining masculinity in a world where being masculine is dangerous. Women love masculinity and danger.